So we are getting somewhere with this. I've put the turbo manifolds on, the exhaust manifold and this connecting pipe here. Uh, just figuratively, you know, I just uh, like looking at it. <laughs> if you know what I mean. These really came out nice. I also treated them with some paint so they really stand out. Also, I have poured some oil in and what we're gonna do now is I'm just gonna remove this plug here which I have for cleanliness reasons and here where the ignition distributor will be we can access the oil pump shaft you see where I'm getting with this we're gonna turn the oil here manually well with the drill here all until we get some oil flow through this hose here which will go on the turbo obviously that way we'll make sure that the whole engine is indeed covered in oil you know all the passages are filled with oil before we attempt starting it you know and uh, pumping the oil with the starter that way we'll make sure that all the oil passages inside the engine are indeed filled with oil so all the bearings and everything will be well lubricated before we attempt starting this beast the ignition distributor turns clockwise on this engine. Woo! <laughs> All right, we made a big mess here, but the important thing is we got oil. That went a lot quicker than expected, actually. Okay, so there we have the whole engine package with the cooling systems. I always wanted to do that with this engine because it really is a sight to behold. I always like this kind of mock-ups, you know, so you really can see how the engine is actually mounted in regard to all the cooling systems in the car. On this occasion, we can just quickly go over all the components of this build here. So we got a Cologne 2.9 liter engine, stock, totally stock, except for mildly ported heads, just gasket matching really. Then we got just new stock bearings and that's it. Then we have this turbo kit, I welded myself. Then a China special turbo, also this special type exhaust, I also welded myself. Just couldn't help it, I always wanted a Sierra with a side exit exhaust. We got some uh, bigger injectors as well and that's pretty much it. Of course the intercooling system, this is a an really oversized intercooler and this one is actually an overkill for the horsepower goal we're aiming at here which happens to be around 300 horsepower. Here we got this two in one piece, this is 3D printed and it works great. Then we got these standard boost pipes and we got the shits and giggles valve here just kidding this is uh, supposed to be an anti-lag valve but we have uh, yet to do much much testing to get this one working properly all right so that's it for now next time we'll be putting this thing inside the car the sierra coupe that is because the first race is actually in a couple of weeks already so if we want to do some testing we have to hurry up a little as always, if you like this kind of content, make sure to like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one. Be good!